Today I want to show you how to generate OG images from HTML and CSS with Next.js. We will use the new virtual OG NPM package to do this. But why would you want to generate images or why should you be excited about this? Well, that's a very good question. And the answer is that with this package you can automatically and dynamically generate your OG social card images for your pages without any extra work. And we all know that it's super important for SEO and for those social shares of your pages to have those OG images in place. So let's dive into the documentation and take a look on a couple of examples real quick. Here I have opened the OG image generation documentation page. And right up here, they list some of the benefits of using this. And first one is performance. So the generation actually happens on the edge and the API routes that do the generation and use this package are run as edge functions. So that makes them super fast. And the next one is ease of use. So we can define the images using HTML and CSS as mentioned, and the library will automatically and dynamically generate images from that markup. And third one, we have the cost effectiveness. So this package actually automatically adds the correct headers to cache the computed images at the edge. So if we have generated an image earlier, it will use the cached version instead of uh, generating it again. So this is great. About the supported features, they support basic CSS layouts, custom fonts, text wrapping, centering, nested images. That's great. Uh, and they are compatible with any framework and application deployed on Vercel. Let's look at the usage requirements. So we need Node.js 16 or newer to use this. But note that only Edge runtime is supported. So the default Node.js runtime is not supported and we need to use the uh, experimental Edge runtime. So let's remember that. But let's get started. I think they have a code snippet over here. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is let's actually open up VS Code and copy this one from here and paste it in to our own application and go from there. So here I have empty Next.js project open, just freshly generated. I will create a new file in the API folder called og1.jsx and inside of here I will paste the code from the docs. And let's save it. So let's take a look on what happens in here. So first we import the image response from the library. Then we need to define the edge runtime with the config runtime at experimental edge. And note that this is a new feature in the latest Next.js version that you can run your API routes as edge functions also. So you just have to pass in that runtime experimental edge config. But that feature is coming from there and it's as the name suggests, is still experimental. But next, uh, as with any API route, we want to export a function. And inside of that function, we return that image response. We import it here. And looks like that as a first parameter, it gets the HTML that we want to uh, have in the image. And then the image uh, width and height as a second parameter. And right here, we have some basic styling and then just the text hello world. So let's save this, open up the console and I almost forgot. So first we of course need to install that OG package. So let's do that. Great, it's installed. Then I will start my dev server and go to the local host. And the API route we had was slash API slash OG one like this. So I'll open that up and looks like we get an empty image. And now that I refresh the page, it actually displayed the text. So there was something going on, but yeah, this is image from that HTML that we defined. That's pretty cool. So let's test it out. I'll modify it a little bit. I'll add a couple of more, more exclamation marks and save it and go to the page and refresh it. And what do you know? it updates the picture. So looks like it's working. So this is like the hello world example. 
So let's try to add some dynamic functionality over here. So what if we could pass in this text as a parameter for this API route? This way we could create a dynamic image every time uh, we call this. So let's do that. I'll start by adding the request variable as a parameter. Then I want to get the search parameters from that request. So let's do that. And then I want to get the text parameter from those search params. So const text equals and search params get and text like this. And then let's use that variable inside the div right here, like so. So I'll save this, switch back to the browser. And now as a parameter, I pass in the text. And let's say hello there and press enter and looks like it's working. So it generates the image from that text. Let's see what else we can do with this. So this was the default example, but I think there was another examples also. Yeah. So down here we have a bunch of examples that we can take a look, but let's take a look on the dynamic external image. So we can actually get an external image to our image. So I think they had the GitHub example right here. Yeah. So I'll copy this again and switch to the VS code, create a new API route called OG2JSX, paste in the code and let's see what's happening in here. It looks like this was TypeScript code. So I'll just remove that and we should be good to go. So first again, the image response over here, then defining the experimental edge. And then we again export a function where we first get the username search param from the URL, then do some null checking for it and return a default image if the username is not provided. Then again, from this API route, we return that image response. And here we have the HTML for the image. So it's a div with some styles over here. And then inside of the div, we have an image. And as a source parameter, we are referencing to GitHub. So fetching a GitHub image or GitHub avatar for the username. And if you didn't know, you can actually get anyone's GitHub avatar like this. So if you go to the github.com slash then the username, for example, me dot PNG. So that automatically gives you the avatar for that username. So that's what we are setting the source for the image over here. And then just displaying a text with also the username like this. So that's all that happens here. So let's save it, go to the browser and I'll go to the correct URL. So it was the OG2. So let's first try it without the username and we get this uh, default image guiding us. So let's add the username like this and let's try mine. And what do you know? It generated the image with my avatar and the GitHub URL. Let's try something else. So for example, Vercel works, Netlify, that works. Yeah. It were and like, I know it's local host, but even though it works super fast, I think. So that's how to add an external image to your OC image or generated image. And let's see, there was still some other examples over here. So we can use dynamic title that we did and the external image we did, but then also you can use emojis, F SVGs, uh, custom fonts, and also tailwind, which is interesting. So this is still in the experimental mode, but basically you can use tailwind styles to uh, define your image over here and it works out of the box. So yeah, that's definitely something I'm going to be testing out. Overall, I think this is very interesting package to use. And what I'm most excited about is that with the help of this uh, virtual OG library, I can now add automatically dynamic OG images 
for my blog posts without any extra work. Because for me, making the images when publishing a blog post is always the most like tiresome thing to do and frustrating. And if I can automate that phase with this, I am one happy camper. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts about this. I would love to hear it. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below. I would highly appreciate it.